There's a lot of these guys driving around. I wonder if when I liberate the garrisons, if there's less of those. There's a hidden item over here, too. Go ahead and get that. Why not? There's a mounted gun on top. Reach the designated location. Well, I'm not Doc, there. I found some kind of ancient mystical fucking magic door. <laughs> the keeping the kill star. I think it was an ancient temple to the dragons. Though I couldn't say who built it. The what? Oh, I'm sure I mentioned it. The kill star. The wrist mega laser cannon that we were building. Uh, no. I'm positive I did. The weapon <laughs> that could level tanks and the only surefire way of killing Sloan and stopping this terrible ordeal. Doc, how do I get in? You can't. Not yet. The door only opens for the worthy. That's what Sloan said. Worthy, huh? Looks like I got a few more guys to kill. Yeah. Oh my god, it's wildfire. The necromancer's piss. If you're not watching Game of Thrones, you're wrong. Period. End of story. Come on. Wait for the audio book. Okay, let's head on over. Let's direction some more. Drive through the river. This is not working as well as I had planned. All terrain. My ass. I got ripped off. All terrain, it means all terrain, assholes. Water is a terrain. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I'm not. If Cyber Sorter sees will execute the hostage, yes, I know. I've not been doing overtly well on the stealth parts up until this point. There's another guy right behind the jeep. Yep, thank you. There's a dude. Alright. I kind of like this whole aspect of scoping out the camp and then th theoretically, you know, approaching the camp and stealthily taking out as many as you can and then quickly taking out the others. Though it's really not been very much stealth. I probably should get off the road if you get shot. The heavy guys are the worst, because you can't stealth pick them out, as far as I can tell. But it looks like they're probably holding them in the cave. But this one might be a bit tricky. If I could sneak in... Shit, shit, balls, shit, balls. Okay, this, this might suck. So I was thinking, well, I'll sneak past them for now. Oh, shit. Alright, he's got his back. Me. Barely. My idea is to sneak past these two and then go in and kill the ones inside as stealthily as possible. And then come back and finish these dudes out. Yes, I know. Okay, I think even when that guy patrols back, I don't think he looks this way, so... And I can kind of warp forward a bit with this takedown. Alright, let's hurry. In case they do turn around and see that body. We gotta be wary of more soldiers, Delta soldiers. Okay, those guys are still obliviously unaware. Wait, I don't think that's the right expression. Regardless, they don't know what's going on. Let's just put it in that way. Put it that way. Wow, this one's a little bigger. I hear a guy whistling. There's at least one. Is it? There's the scientist. There's another guy. Looks like it might be better to go over there and try to chain take them down. Let's go ahead and. We're not gonna run. I get shit. I don't know how the stealth mechanics work, and I, but I assume running makes it easier for you to be heard. Come on. Keep on. Uh, you're going to be a dick. I'm going to wait for him to go back. Or, wait for him to do that. Mm. Hell yeah. Another level up. We'll check the level up now, because I was going to say we'll check it later, but I'll forget. So, level 8, additional health bar. 
tree. <laughs> I love that shit. Alright, so this guy's facing... Well, I can see him. Focusing too much on the minimap here. It's interesting how this game is so, like, high-tech. We're focusing on, well, the 80s version of the future. But there's a lot... Well, now there's all these, like, ancient ruins. Which, in itself, is shit. Falls. Come on. Fuck. I want to take them both out at once. The hostage before he is shot there we go. Alright, so... Okay, they're still unaware. Let's go ahead and loot this guy. So we need, do need to go back out and kill those guys. Fair enough. No problem. I mean, I was going to do it anyway. Kill for the hell out of these guys before I forget. Go ahead and run here. Alright, let's... Um, take these guys out as stealthily as possible. I tried to do the ninja star takedown on the second dude, but I forgot how. I thought it was left click and, and pointed in the direction of the enemy, but I guess not. I'd like to try to take out the guy on the right, since I can't take this one out, this dude out. Truck things like your biggest enemy. Time to ride shotgun. Oh god. Really? Really? Time to ride shotgun? That's what you've got? That one was pretty fun, I like that one. It wasn't just It wasn't just an open camp like the others have been at this point. You actually had you actually had a chance. Ooh. Oh, that was reload my gun, not a reload station. Yes, I know, scientist guy. I'm busy ripping the hearts out of the dead. Over here. Yeah, I hear you. On behalf of the scientific community, thank you. You're welcome. Success. Oh, get this money. And whatever's in this box. There's a TV in here too, obviously. Where are you at? There you are. There you is. Oh boy, another one down. I know, you're very excited when I get collectibles. Let's make sure everything else is reloaded. It is. I think we're good to go. Uh, yeah, I think we're done here. And maybe... Ooh, full auto. I want more sniper rifle upgrade, damn it. I really... I don't like, in any scenario, I really don't like the game dictating what upgrades I'm gonna get at any time. I hate killing tigers, but man, I need them, need the need the monies. Killing, killing a tiger, totally worth $8. But I really don't like when games dictate my upgrade path. Like, for example, uh, Dead Space, I think is a good example, where you go to shops to purchase your upgrades, but you have to unlock the upgrades via money, but you also can't upgrade certain one certain ones until you're further in the story. Like, let's say, and again, forget the forget I said, uh, forget I said uh, Dead Space. I don't think they do exactly what I'm talking about right now. Okay, let's go go up this road and then cross over that bridge. If these guys don't have to be dick. But I don't like when the game is like, okay, well, it costs money to buy these upgrades, but you can only buy the buy them when we say you can buy them. Like, they say, you can upgrade your hit points ten times, but you can only upgrade it twice until you get to chapter three, and then you have to wait until you finish the ocean that was You have to wait until chapter three to actually finish that chapter. I really hate that. It's like, if I want to spend all my money on these health upgrades... It's kind of douchey to say, oh, no, you can't do that. I'm completely lost now, but I'm just trying to get away from these assholes. Jesus Christ, these guys are every fucking where. Go up this hill. 
That seems like the smartest plan. You know what? Let's just stand and fight. But Rex Power Cult would do a heal. Oh. All right, where the fuck are we? Jeep, just like I don't know. It's like you're it's so hard to see yourself too. Good lord! Look how many guys are around here. I mean, Seems like driving the jeep is just basically asking to be killed, shot. Because there's so many of them, like, everywhere. But yeah, I just don't like games limiting me, telling me when it's okay for me to upgrade and when it's not. That's That, in my opinion, is total bullshit. It takes away your freedom. If I want to just focus on my damage, like my gun damage, and that's it, then that should be up to me. If I'm fucking myself, oh well. And if you make it exponentially more expensive every time I upgrade, so that that's the way I have to do it, in other words, I have to spend every dime on damage, then again, let me do it because I want to do it. I've chosen to do this. I'm trying to think of another good example. Tomb Raider is kind of like that, the new Tomb Raider. In that, uh, oh, there's animals. They're not dangerous, though. Tumor is kind of like that, in that you have to get to a certain point in the game before you can upgrade your weapons a certain way. And they they try to make it game-related. Like, they try to say, well, you can't upgrade the bow because you haven't found the materials. So you can only upgrade the damage so much. And I guess that's... It makes sense, but it's still not really okay, in my opinion. Just let me do whatever I want to do. Say what I want to say, live how I want to live, the Adams family. Hey. Five of twelve. Animals, see it's animals to kill, but I'm assuming it means this specific type of animal. Sorry, puma, tiger, whatever the hell you are. Yeah, I think it's safe to go on foot. Especially given my inability to drive in this difficult terrain. Well, not terrain, but visuals. Let's go ahead and save it. I did find a save, by the way. I completely missed it when I checked first. My bad, I guess. But yeah, this this kind of takes it to... Doc, I'm at the dam. God damn, it's big. Every facility has its own generators, but without the dam, Sloan can't run his operation at full strength. Then it's time to blow his dike. Okay, I'm sending Jesus. you the coordinates to enough C-4000 to crack that dam. Draining the reservoir will compromise the reactor's coolant system. Objective, retrieve C-4000. Okay. Which appears to be right there. Look around for peeps. I see jeeps, but not peeps. You know, somebody was complaining, and I won't bother mentioning who it is, but it's a pretty famous game story writer, among other things. But, like, he was like, oh, I wonder how long I can play Blood Dragon without a gay reference. Oh, there we go, 90 seconds. It's like, I understand it's supposed to be from the 80s, but this is not okay. It's like, Jesus Christ, fucking lay off. People are so goddamn overly politically correct these days it's fucking disgusting it's like oh well i know it was appropriate for the time period but it offends me so i don't think it's okay it's like look i am totally cool with with people gay people bisexual people i don't give a fuck you know what do whatever makes you happy it doesn't fucking bother me but you know people have got to learn to fucking take a goddamn joke like, I'm fucking fat, but you don't hear me crying that, oh, this game makes fun of pat fat people. This offends me. You shouldn't be able to do it. It's fucking bullshit. Like, just goddamn get over it. And really, it hurts. I think it hurts people's... I don't know what you can say. Uh, it hurts their... Oh, shit. Leaving the mission area. All right, fine. Go ahead and drop down this way. I think it really hurts your cause when you're getting overly hurt over every goddamn tiny little thing that you have to have a shit fit over kind of like with i don't know if you heard about this i don't going to harp on this too much but the god of war uh, ascension 
they had a they had an achievement called Bros Before Hose. And uh, this one Doc, ready to bring the house down. Just hey. like when you saved me and my team in Quebec, when you caused that hydro plant's nuclear reactors to go critical. I, I don't remember much before getting shot up. Playing as a kid, my parents, Vietnam War II. I'm sorry. Good luck, Rex. <laughs> We're counting on you to save us <laughs> oh, again. Wow. Wow. Scan complete. Objective. Reach dam and plant C-4000 along structural faults. Okay. Let's go ahead and scan while we're on the way up there. Oh, there's one sniper. Let's take him out first, if at all possible. I might be far enough that I can shoot him, even with a sniper rifle, and not be detected. But yeah, there was a big to-do over the Bros Before for Hose things. And what made it worse was one reviewer who was crying about it. He misreported the circumstances of the... Of the... Achievement. He was trying to say that, oh, you know, they sexualized the kill that caused the achievement. Uh, and they made it, like, he brutally murdered, but they made it very sexual. And all this other nonsense. So, when it actually, so people, like, you know, flipped out. Looks like they <laughs> did notice me. Oh, well. Shit, sniper. Fuck. Fucking grass. I like how the grass affects me, but not this guy. Alright, heal up. So, yeah, so people were freaking out over this. And it turns out for nothing because he completely misreported uh, information about the achievement. What the fuck? I'm like nowhere near it. Alright, look at the. Wow. So that's how you heal when you run out of healing things. Beautiful. Oh shit. I was waiting because I didn't think he saw me. I was going to try to stealth kill him, but I think he saw me, but running reload. What is this do? Running reload. Press R to reload a weapon while sprinting. Nice. Thought I could do that before. I guess you could move and reload, but not sprint. Dude, there he is. Got him. Nice. Up goes the wiener. Okay. Somebody's over there. And for some reason, they looked over here. But yeah, honestly, I just think that people overreacting to shit like, Oh, they made a gay reference. Oh, that's totally unnecessary. It hurts my feels. They actually make normal people like me roll their fucking eyes. And think, Jesus Christ, you know, you can't, basically they're tr just shitting on any fun you can have. And sorry, making fun of people is fun sometimes, as long as it's good in good humor. Again, as someone who's fat, I would never say, oh, you shouldn't be able to make fun of fat people. Like, I make fun of fat people all the time. Fuck them. Including me. Fuck me. Fuck my fat ass. Oh, wait, is that a guy? It sure is. Felt not to be. Send for a medic so nope. can kill him too. That's a stealth kill? I mean, I'll take it. Nope. Nope. Let's uh, drop off their radar here. Yeah, at least want to take the snipers out. But anyway, yeah, I'm done talking about that. Just the whole, the stupid trend of being hypersensitive to every goddamn thing is really annoying the fuck out of me. Come on. Nope. Those guys have got some phenom eyesight. Right. Oh, th there he is. Wish I could zoom in. Oh yeah, I guess I'm already zoomed. I had my eye on him. All right. Damn, how many guys is there? Oh, I see. I see at least two more snipers. I don't know why. I decided to try to snipe that rock. <laughs> 